Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna go ahead and drop this bumper off at the body shop to get painted. I'm gonna make a few final adjustments to the new OEM grills that I bought. Other than that, everything's ready to get dropped off, get painted, and get installed on the car. So stay tuned. So right here we have the OEM grill on the outer piece, and this is the aftermarket one that came with the bumper. You can see the OEM one comes with these extra clips right here, and it also comes with a clip right there that has a screw in right there. Other than that, another major difference that you'll notice on the OEM one is along the edge here, they actually taped it down with double-sided tape, whereas the Chinese one, they actually tried to solder it in with those four little spots there. The part where they melted it on right here looks just like the Chinese one, so it's not that great there, but you could just heat that up and cut that off and then pop this thing out along with that tape to take this back grill out. As far as the factory black finish, they did finish the front of it and the face of it pretty good. And they got lazy down here. You can see it blends right into like bare plastic without the clear coat down here. So over here, I snapped it onto the bumper to get everything to fit. Everything lines up with all the holes that they did here. And actually right here, I actually got it to fit where that little spot was for that screw. And right here, where that clip is that's longer on the actual 4IS, you can see that hangs right over and it fits in perfectly right there. So we just gotta trim that off to fit this bumper. Right here on this edge, you can see that cutout that we saw on the bumper. It was actually designed from the factory on this 4IS to actually clear that little piece right there before it goes into here. For the 2IS, we didn't really need that piece, so they just trimmed it right off of there. So that little spot for the screw that holds the grill on, I'm not sure OEM what that comes with. Is there a washer or something that holds this in? Which it looks like it might be a, some kind of big washer that fits in there because it looks like it uses a standard grill screw, but that grill screw would just fall right through that hole if we don't have a washer of some sort or at least some kind of retainer back here. So for this outer grills, I might go ahead and just send these off to paint so they match the center grill. I'm gonna take them all apart. This piece popped off pretty easily right here. Most of the double-sided tape is not even held on anything because of these honeycomb things on the bottom here. So it just barely touches, so you can just peel that spot off. So we got that trimmed off right there. It's kind of jagged right now. So I'm gonna just have to sand it with a file and some sandpaper, get it smooth before I send it off to paint. That paint stripper took this thing off really quick. So now we're gonna end up cutting these little nubs off of here, sanding this down and then hitting it with that SCM trim paint. So that was a pretty easy cut off with a really sharp blade on a knife. You just gotta cut it down and then now we just need to sand it down a little bit more and then paint it.
We're over here at Fandino Auto. This is the shop that one of the guys that bought the bumper from me ended up using. So I'm gonna go try them out to see my bumper. So I ended up talking to them and getting a price. So I ended up spending about $8.50 to get this bumper painted. And that's getting the bumper painted and filling the holes, which was like $400 and something dollars worth of work already. And then another three something, $400 to do the grills. The grills, I decided to paint all four of those outer grills. So that an extra set of grills to paint, plus the big old grill, which is basically the equivalent of painting a bumper anyways. So hopefully for the money I'm spending here that everything turns out well. Since I was already out and near the body shop area, I decided to stop into a Sherwin-Williams to pick up some automotive paint. I was freaking surprised by how much paint has gone up lately. I was gonna pick up a pint of uh, graphite gray pearl, which is the same color that Sport Cross is painted to do some touch up and then to do my dash. It was like $70 for a pint. I was like, crap. So I ended up just getting a half pint because I needed to do my spoiler and then the, that dash and that's all I'm probably gonna do for this car. Now I don't feel that bad about spending $8.50 on uh, getting the bumper painted because the paint alone for that bumper and the grills is gonna be like 200 to 250 not including all the sealers, the clear coat, and the primers that they're gonna to need to do that job. So yeah, 850 seems like a fair deal. If you guys have been following the channel for the last two or three years, you recall I did a VLAN giveaway about two years ago. We finally hit all the metrics, and today we're gonna to be doing the drawing. So we'll generate the first number, 49. So let's see, we got Fija Media, 49. So we'll move on to the next number now. So we'll go up to the next number, 16. So it looks like 16 is JGMR2 or JG91MR2. All right, so we'll go to the next number, 51. So who do we got on 51? Looks like Edward RT. So you're number 51. So the next one we got is going to be number three. So who do we got on number three? Looks like USA Stance. So now we're going to move on to the fifth and final finalist. Let's see who we got here. It's going to be number one. So it looks like number one is going to be David Tamplin. So you're the fifth and final finalist on this one. Hey guys, it's been about four weeks since I dropped this bumper off. I had vacation and all that spring break, but we're going to go ahead, go back to Fandino Auto today and pick up the bumper and see how it looks. Got everything out in the sun just to see how it turned out. Pretty good. We've got the holes filled in for the wipers here. All right, got all the fiberglass back here. Make sure that doesn't come loose later. But everything looks pretty good. We got everything double-sided taped back together on these two side grills. So I used my soldering iron and soldered back these three clips right there that were originally soldered and I cut off. You can see everything's nice and tight now. We get this back onto the bumper. As you guys saw, I painted this with some trim paint. Everything looks nice and clean now. I'll go ahead and reassemble this grill. these things plastic welded using a zip tie and a soldering iron got it all back to holding pretty good now and we got the two screws on the end that help hold it too but overall looks good go ahead and assemble the rest of this grill back together and get it put up on the car so I've got this baby home for the last couple of days just sitting here in the garage curing I just wiped it down with some alcohol. I'm gonna go ahead and put some Armor Shield 9 ceramic coat on here. If you guys haven't seen my video on putting ceramic coat on my IS and on my van, go ahead and check out the link I got right up here in the corner now. And also check out description if you guys wanna get some Armor Shield for $25 off.
dang, that was a lot of screws. There's literally like 38 screws that hold this thing together, if not more. Seems like I was drilling forever, but I've got the whole grill secured. This thing is not going anywhere. Sorry guys if this video is getting too long at this point, but I just wanted to do everything right, make sure everything's nice and prepped before I put it back on the car. But we basically just ceramic coated the whole grill, the bumper edges here. And then when I put on these vents and I get them onto the car, I'm gonna go ahead and ceramic coat it one more time just for the coverage. Uh, putting multiple coats of Armor Shield doesn't really increase protection. It just covers areas that you might've missed or areas that were thin with a nice even coverage. I got my lip all mounted up using that foam tape I got from Home Depot for another project, but it worked pretty good just to kind of insulate and provide a little bit of a gap between the bumper and the lip. So I found some of these white nylon uh, screw holders and I put those on the other side of the screws that I did for the lip so that in case it ever pulls out, at least I have some kind of anchor on the back side to hold it in. So I did that for the lip, but overall the lip looks pretty good and we're ready to get this back on the car. All right guys, I'm about to install the new bumper. And this is one of the things 99.9 .9 of y'all will probably skip on because you either don't know about it or don't care about it. So this is a little piece called a bumper protector. So it's just a piece of foam that goes along the strip here that snaps into the side at your fender. And it's like a three or $4 part from the dealer. So I picked up two of these and I'm gonna install it here. If you look at my old bumper, my 3IS conversion, I have it installed on there. And the only reason why I know about that is because I took my OEM bumper off and I saw that and I was like, ah, I might as well get that to make it OEM. In addition, my little two side pieces here that hold the fender lining in, they're getting kind of crusty. They're the original ones from 2007. So I ended up picking up a new set for like 10 or $12 for 15 of them. You only need like four of these for the install. I ended up getting a box with 15 of them. It says 30 pieces on the box, but it counts the, this piece and then the pen that goes inside as another piece but if you need some of these for your install or you don't have any on yours i'll have a link down in the description if you need these so to install the side clips here it's pretty easy if you look on the bumper it's already actually notched right there to snap these in pretty easily so you basically just line it up and just snap it in from the side here and then this back side it's got that little lip right here so it's easy to slip the fender lining into there and remember on the 06 to 08 fender lining i had to actually re-drill the holes for the fender lining i think if you have a 9 or 10 is that these line up with the oem ones and they probably line up on the newer models too because of the way they've redesigned the bumper and the location of these pins So to install this, you basically start right here where there's actually a groove in the thing and it goes all the way and then it actually comes up to here where the groove ends and it continues onto this spot over here. So if you line it up right now, you can see that it goes all the way close to that edge there. So you wanna kinda just start over here, peel the edge a little bit on this. Don't peel it all the way yet because you wanna make sure you get it nice and straight and then just roll the backing off as you go just so you don't lose the stickiness and then accidentally stick it somewhere but yeah my other bumper i've had this on there for what like four years now and it's just held strong with no issues there so 
that's nice on there nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other side and I'm gonna get this on the car. All right, so we're out here in the garage with Leah. So we're gonna end up putting everybody's name onto a piece of paper, and then we're gonna put it on a target and shoot arrows at it. So let's go ahead and put the names on here, Leah. So the first one is David Tamplin. All right, so we got everybody on the board. Leah's over here with the arrows on the other side of the driveway. Let's see what she hits. First one, nobody. Missed. Second arrow. Missed on the third arrow. Nobody hit on that one. Still a miss. Come on, Leah, you gotta hit somebody. Almost. Nope, we hit. Got a bullseye, but didn't hit anybody's name. So we'll go reshoot again. All right, round two. Still a miss, but it was a bullseye. <laughs> Bullseye, but no, a miss. We should have just put someone's name on the bullseye. Oh, you hit someone. We got it. So we got a winner. Edward RT, you are the winner. I'll go ahead and email you all the information on winning these lights. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots Skipping breaks Feeling lost Feeling great Popping off Singing straight Never stop Never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say Yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause No I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say Hey guys, I want to thank you for watching all the way to the end of this pretty long video on getting this bumper installed. If any of you guys watching are interested in the 3IS bumper that I got here, my original bumper that I took off, go ahead and hit me up. If you're in the Orlando area and you have a black car, that would probably be the perfect buyer for this bumper. I'm not going to ship it anywhere, so only if you're willing to come to Orlando to get this bumper. It's going to be listed for $900, so the first come, first serve. I know a few guys had commented on my old videos and I reached out to them, but nobody has replied to me. So I'm going to give it a couple days on this video if you guys are interested in this bumper. If not, I'm just going to put it on marketplace and get rid of it. 
Once again, I want to thank you for watching all the way to the end of this long video on getting this bumper put on the car and making it as OEM or OEM Plus as possible. If you found this video helpful and useful, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already to stay on top of all my different projects, whether it's on the car, on the house, or in the garage, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn on bell notifications to be notified every time I upload a video. Again, like I said guys, for any of these projects, if I can do it, you guys can do it. I want to thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time.